Hello guys, <clears throat> welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for July 9 to July 15, 2018. So before we start I want to tell you guys that the monthly readings are already out so if you enjoy my readings feel free to watch them and as well if you want to know even more about your month, uh, your month excuse me, there are an, an extended tarot reading starting from month of July moving on forward that can be purchased purchased for just as one dollar per star sign and in these readings you're gonna find your career and relationship specifically <clears throat> for the month or rather not yours but your star signs all right so uh, that being said let's go to the uh, to the week of uh, Virgo here and the first card that shows up the topic is going to be the moon the second card that represents the core of the situation that will be the queen of pentacles then we do have the challenges, uh, this is going to be the Seven of Cups and the last one is the Guidance here that will be the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, you will be very fortunate Virgo to realize how loyal and faithful guardian you do have on your behalf, alright? Because that is going to be otherwise a, a very... Uh, how can unstable week all right so you may an unstable in the sense of that your imagination will be very exaggerated and uh, with those who are capable to uh, connect their imagination you know with the wisdom and, and, and with the creativity they have uh, they may um, they will not just may but they will obtain a, a huge insight that is a, a very very potent week for artists writers uh, a painter as well, you know, um, 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 you, um, an artist, you know, that, that are in the cinema industry, in the, in the movie and industry, etc., etc. But for the rest, this week is going to be rather as our imagination or your imagination, Virgo, is going to work more, um, more extensively than... Um, than usual, you're going to question almost everything that is going on around you, which is a, a good thing, right? But in the same time, it could create a, a certain delusions that is expressed with the moon card. But lucky for you, we do have the core of the situation with a person who will always keep you grounded. He will, uh, that person will always keep you on track. They will be there, you know, to breathe sense into your imagination, to uh, basically fight back your fears in case you do have such. Just to uh, give you an example, uh, you may encounter a, a very good project in your career, you know, but in the same time you may feel very skeptical about it because your imagination is imagining things that are not yet happening and you will have that co-worker of yours that you, it's a good friend of yours or just the leader of the team there which will fight back these fears you know of your failure that haven't even happened yet <clears throat> but you kind of like experiencing them and that will uh, severely did, did that experience of fear will severely otherwise hurt your performance this person will not allow that to happen same goes for your career so in general you will have a, a very loyal supportive there who will always um, kind of like you know wipe out the insecurity and who will always wipe out the vagueness in your uh, in your week and in your life in general the challenges here however we do have the seven of cups which points to belief a belief in the sense of that uh, even though you you get yourself grounded even though uh, that person supports with very solid arguments material arguments you know that um, and proves that actually what is happening around you it's real or what is happening around you isn't real now that will depend on your situation the seven of cups is, is a card that you need to overcome the doubt uh, not just the doubt but you need to overcome the extreme in a sense of the extreme um, exaggeration and uh, the extreme um, despondency all right because uh, uh, even though this person is going to uh, is going to calm your a wavering, the true calmness or kind of like the uh, the whole calmness could only come from within, and that will be um, that will be the problem that you are gonna face during this particular week. Nothing more. And we do have the wheel of fortune here as a guidance card, Virgo, which points that these opportunities that you will receive during the week, you know, they will be very good. 
all right it is just your image imagination it is what making them bad and by conjunction of those couple of cards your bravery will determine how lucrative and how happy your week is going to be if you are not brave enough if you do have a rabbit heart all right then it seems that there will be no advance moving on forward or kind of like there will be no improvement which totally suits some people all right some people just likes to be in the place they are and they don't they don't like to jeopardize that place so you can totally do that or you can kind of listen to to this loyal uh, faithful companion here, you know, uh, take under consideration his or hers, uh, her advices because also um, these these kind of advices and statements will be um, supported with, as I said, solid proof and they will reveal yet unexplored opportunities and possibilities around you. You can take advantage of that, be a, li be a little bit more braver and initiate maybe once in a lifetime change in your life. So with that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 9th to July 15th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down below in the description of this video. Rod signing up now. See you next time. Bye.